hello guys namaste welcome back to nash vlog so today we went to carry for shopping and uh actually we had gone to get some uh clothes for the boys because abinash doesn't have any jeans for you know going out or something like that but we found when the shop is closed and then we decided to go carry for shopping we checked on the spices that they have there and uh, we got some spices as well because i didn't have some spices and i i said why make them from home yet these guys have the, the like the ones they make by themselves so all these spices you see here are made by curry for they are completely fresh and i decided to get some uh from here as well so this is my first time buying spices from a curry for and buying spices from outside like the ground spices because um i usually make my own spices from home uh but this time i decided to get some from here and trust me you guys they have the freshest uh spices i've seen like uh like the original ones if i may say so the boys were so happy moving around in curry form we decided to get some fruits as well from here because they have so many different kinds of fruits and uh you know how uh, my family love fruits and stuff like that so the boys are just having a lot of fun coming to curry for because this is okay like this time adash really amazed me like he really surprised us because he usually doesn't like going outside like whenever we go outside he cries a lot but this time when we went outside he was super happy like i think he's getting used to the uh day-to-day -day life or stuff like that so he was so happy moving around he ran around he was talking to each and everybody whenever somebody was picking something he would go and pick it to them and uh he even actually cried while we were coming out that is so surprising like when we, when i took him out he started crying like he didn't want to go back home guys and this really made me happy like it's the first time i've seen him so free and check how he's going into the bakery without even <laughs> getting scared of something and my husband is asking the baker like do you want to employ him so yeah we had so much fun and then they also have this decor place i dashed to the flowers and he was so happy they have this decor place that we decided to check out and hmm i didn't get anything from here because they were quite expensive so <laughs> i just let them be We also decided to go to Garden City because we wanted to check out some other store like a kids co store at Garden City and then uh, when we reached guess what like we found those guys open and you know they had uh, some clothes but then they didn't have that much that would you know attract us to get some for the kids like they have a sale and then we decided to go to them because they have a sale but then the clothes really um no we didn't like them at all so we, we didn't get anything actually and then while we were there abinash saw kids who were learning how to skate we have a skating school around there and then he also asked to join the school and then we said why not like it's been a long time for us to you know uh think we were thinking about him joining the skating uh school and something like that for a very long time but we didn't really you know put it in uh, making or something like that and then when we got the chance here we decided to just make him join and he joined and this is his first skating lesson Oh, 
that has benten and uh, is that poo? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is where the kids come for training. As you can see, kids are under training here. And then we met one of the some people who are coming from my husband's area, like my husband's state. And then, uh, yeah, we had some great time. We had a talk. Like, it was so fun meeting people who can speak the same language as my husband. Like, we had some great talk. Like, you know, we exchanged numbers. And uh, the kids played. They had fun. They uh, um, had some great time as well as we did. Oh, they have waterboards. You want to ride one? Abby, you're so happy? Huh? So here we are going to talk to the manager of this place and then we are going to make Avinash join. I thought she's just entering anywhere at any time and it was really surprising me that he wasn't scared as he was before. This is going to be Abinash's coach and uh, as you can see she's helping him get ready and uh, she's going to train him this time. I don't know whether whenever we are going there she's going to be the one who's going to train him but for today she's going to be the one who's going to train him and those are the skates that they have given him and yeah let me show you guys how he was skating like he did really well for the first time i was really surprised i thought he would be super scared but he wasn't Abinash gets really bored staying at home, you know, without having friends to talk to or friends to play with around our area. And it really, you know, hurts me sometimes what Patricia is doing. So he's always, always on his tab, which is not good for his health, his eyes and stuff like that. So he needs to be engaged something like that and then this is why we decided like we want to make him get engaged in stuff that he loves and then he he's been asking for skates for a very long time and then he has the um, also the skateboard but then skating was super i wanted to get him skates at time a time like previously but then our area is a bit hilly and i was so scared probably he'll fall down break his legs and break his bones or something like that so we believe that taking him to the school like to to learn how to use the skate shoes he will be you know more perfect with it and then he can play around alone when he's after the school like when he gets done with the school so he also has a skateboard and these guys also teach how to use a skateboard they teach how to, how to use a good morning everybody so this is the next day and for abinash's lunchbox i'm getting him a bread like a, a bun that is i've put nutella in between that and some apples and some dragon fruit so abinash has been asking for a dragon fruit for a long time and we got him this today we woke up late and then i thought this is the best thing to do so my husband is also packing some because i woke up late as i said he didn't take anything for breakfast and that is what he's going to be having dragon fruits and uh, some apples and then yeah
For lunch, we're going to be having aloo and cauliflower sabzi, that is potatoes and cauliflower curry. And I've already, you like you fry it a little bit at first in cooking oil and then you chop off your tomatoes and onions. And then we're going to be adding some cashew nuts for a very creamy uh, uh, curry. And we'll blend that up. This is how our mixture is going to come out, like the tomatoes, onions and the cashew nuts. And heat up your pan. Add some jira, cash, uh, cardamom, cinnamon, a big cardamom, and then two uh, bay leaves, and then let them splatter. After that, we are going to be adding some garlic ginger paste. So my garlic ginger paste is almost done, but uh, we were adding as well to one chili that is broken into halves. And then my garlic ginger paste is done, but that is what we still have, and it's going to be just enough for us. So be careful because it will spat, splatter and burn you. And then cook that up and after some time when you feel like it's a little bit cooked you have to add the mixture that we just had to blend and then you have to cook this up until the cooking oil oozes up like after mixing up stuff and all that you have to cook it properly like properly until the cooking oil oozes out we'll add half a tablespoon of turmeric powder half a tablespoon of red chili powder some jira powder some coriander powder like i put enough coriander powder because um it's the one that is going to bring out the taste properly and then you have to cook that up as i told you you have to cook this mixture up until the cooking oil oozes out as you see here because that is when you will know that it is ready and stuff like that so this is perfect for making the curry and it's going to be giving our curry a very nice taste as well some salt to taste our masala is ready as you can see the cooking oil is oozing out on the side of the pan and that tells you that the masala is ready to be used so now we are going to be adding in our fried cauliflower and um, aloo our fried cauliflower and potato the one we have fried and put on the side and we'll mix that all together and then we'll add in some water for the curry and we'll cook that up also add in some little bit of sugar to balance the taste just a little bit of it that is going to balance the taste of the tomatoes and stuff you know sometimes the tomatoes are so natural and they have that um bitter thingy in them so now you as you can see our curry is ready and ready to be served so at this point what we are going to do is we are going to crush yeah, some kasuri me. methi we are going to crush some kasuri methi and then we'll put that up as a garnish we are going to garnish it like this and it will, it's going to be tasty trust me try this at home and this is how it looks like and it is the tastiest curry like my husband loves this curry and uh paneer curry whenever i make it so i hope you guys try it at home